The ocean, so dark and inhospitable to humans, is the great unexplored terrain of our planet. In its depths exist life forms that have yet to be discovered, and perhaps cannot even be imagined. So when, in 1997, an unidentifiable and unimaginably loud sound was detected in the remote South Pacific, people across the world began speculating about its cause. Named after its unique sonic profile, there was something about the sound that suggested an animal origin. But could it really have been created by a leviathan of the deep? Or was it the rumble of an ice shelf breaking apart? Maybe even an incident caused by man? Or something much stranger? Let's take a dive into the midnight zone of mystery surrounding the enigmatic and alluring sound known as the blue. The bloop was detected on several occasions in 1997 by the Equatorial Pacific Ocean Autonomous Hydrophonic Array. This system, which monitors undersea seismicity, ice noise, and marine mammals, was built by a laboratory of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the NOAA. This array is used by the NOAA in conjunction with SOSIS, the U.S. Navy's sound surveillance system, which was originally designed to detect Soviet submarines. According to the NOAA description of the bloop, it, quote, rose rapidly in frequency over about one minute and was in sufficient amplitude to be heard on multiple sensors at a range of over 5,000 kilometers. Through triangulation, the source was estimated to emanate in the deep waters, averaging 4,300 meters below sea level, that lie around 1,750 kilometers west of Chile in the South Pacific. Let's have a listen. One of the first to attempt to interpret the bloop was Dr. Christopher Fox of the NOAA. He believed that its cause was neither human-related, such as a submarine or bomb, nor geological, such as a volcano or an earthquake. In fact, Fox's view echoed what is perhaps a natural response to hearing the bloop, that it resembled the call of a living creature, yet one, according to Fox, that is, quote, far more powerful than the calls made by any animal on Earth. If the bloop was made by a creature of the deep, what would be a contender? One thing is clear, it was no animal currently known to science. Even the blue whale, whose greatest recorded size exceeds 30 meters and can weigh over 170 tons, would not be nearly big enough to account for the depth and length of the bloop. Extrapolating from known whale calls, it has been estimated that if a living creature with a similar anatomy was behind the bloop sound, it would be over twice as large at 75 meters long. It is also worth considering that such an animal may be nothing at all like a whale in form. It would certainly need to be of enormous size to create a call that carries such a long distance, but animals like the tiny pistol shrimp have been recorded generating sounds louder than a jet engine by creating shockwave bubbles with a special claw. A whale-like mammal would also need to surface to breathe, making the lack of any additional evidence or sightings puzzling, but not impossible to explain. When we consider that it was only as recently as 2012 that a previously unknown species of whale was discovered washed up on a New Zealand beach, perhaps we should not rule this option out entirely. While the bloop could be described as matching the audio profile of a living creature, a breakdown of its audio signature could possibly help give a clearer picture of its origin. This is the bloop spectrogram. It shows that for its duration, it covered frequencies from about 10 to 45 hertz. That's similar to the sound profile of the Atlantic finback whale, which makes a series of chirps, each of which resembles those of the bloop. Other whales match the frequency range of the bloop, such as the South African blue whale. But again, there are clear differences. Whales vocalize on several frequencies at once and produce a much clearer voice-like tone, whereas the bloop gives the distinct impression of rising bubbles. If advanced sound analysis of spectrograms gives such little clarity, it is perhaps unsurprising to learn that when it comes to inexplicable undersea noises, the bloop is far from being alone. In over 20 years listening to the submerged soundscape of the Pacific, the NOAA has picked up at least half a dozen other noises that defy explanation. Here are just five of the most mysterious. Upsweep recorded in August 1991, was first thought to have been created by fin whales, but
but is now thought to be linked to volcanic activity in the region, perhaps the result of seawater and volcanic gas interacting to create a resonance. Confounding this explanation, however, is the apparent seasonality of the sound, peaking in spring and autumn. This may indicate some sort of migration pattern. Heard here, it is still considered officially unidentified by the NOAA. Slow Down, first recorded in May 1997, was detected in the ocean west of Peru, but its actual origin is thought to be more southerly, possibly originating in the Antarctic. It slowly decreases in frequency and lasts about seven minutes each time it's heard. The sound has been picked up several times each year since this first recording. Train, named after its resemblance to a distant locomotive, was recorded in March 1997, again by the Equatorial Pacific Ocean Autonomous Hydrophone Array, and its exact point of origin is unknown. Heard here, the sound rises to a steady hum, like a train rumbling along metal tracks. Julia, recorded in March 1999, lasted 15 seconds and was strong enough to be picked up by every sensor on the Equatorial Pacific Ocean Hydrophone Array. Its origin was also somewhere west of Peru's southern coast, and in this recording, it sounds like a plaintive moan. Finally, let's consider Whistle. It was recorded in July 1997, but was only picked up by a single hydrophone, located about 2,700 kilometers west of Costa Rica. Whistle, like Upsweep, has no confirmed explanation, and is officially considered unidentified by the NOAA. Heard here, it is similar to a boiling kettle of water erupting in a low whine. In the 15 years after it was recorded, the NOAA detected sounds caused by ice quakes, whose spectrograms were very similar to those of the bloop, enabling them to conclude to quote, The broad spectrum sounds recorded in 1997 are consistent with ice quakes generated by large icebergs as they crack and fracture. But while their explanation is indeed plausible, in the absence of solid proof, it remains one theory against many. The strange murmuring of the bloop only confirms how little we know about the oceans. And despite all our advances in underwater exploration, whenever human perception attempts to pierce the mysteries of the deep, we remain in the dark.